it is printing. So we're printing clip holder. Go out here. So we'll hold this, I guess. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to do. Do we have this bunch of wire here? It doesn't really need to be there. So this is really sad that I have to do this to this printer. Like right away. Like so this really nice print bed, like first couple prints, were absolutely amazing. They didn't want to come off, but nothing came off with them. But they did all kind of, every time I printed, it left sort of a, a, a mark into the print bed, you know. So um, I'm not sure if maybe running the print bed at 70 and the temperature kind of high, maybe that was responsible for something. Um, I don't know. But... I mean, we got it Monday. It's uh, it's Saturday night, Sunday morning right now, and uh, I mean, I had printed uh, a couple of the um, little samurai cat things or whatever, you know, the cat that waves at samurai and saves his life. Anyway, well, yeah, I got some over here. So I printed a couple of these. In fact, this is one where I ran out of the PLA and shoved the black stuff in there while it was in the middle of printing and that was successful um i printed that and a couple of other things but you know um i then thought okay i don't need to use this because i'm going to use my larger printers for other stuff and then i had something i wanted to try that was going to take up from here to here and that's when it just like didn't work and it dug into the bed and my Z-axis, I, I did adjust it once. That's not when it dug in. That's when they um, changed it back. So it is... Get this off of here. The 204. I don't remember what it was when I first got it. Maybe if I look at one of the old videos, I'll be able to see. So we have our first layer. It stuck to the tape. This is really crappy tape, too. Uh, the blue is 3M. The stuff is actually from the... The, the Dollar Tree. I can't find any of my tape. I have some frog tape, but I um, don't know that that's as good because it's it has a different texture on the outside. So I guess for now, if I want to print on this thing, I might do this. Now I did uh, successfully print uh, the Infinite Cube the other night. I printed two of them on here, and what I did was I actually um, printed with a raft. I I'm not sure why it's able to print a raft and then print on the raft. Um, but I guess, you know, it just, uh, the bed is messed up. So I might be printing uh, too slow here. Um, I'm not sure. I thought I maybe saw a little uh, damage over here on the print. Like heat damage. Kind of does look like it. Anyway, um... We'll see how this turns out. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. It looks, I guess it looks okay. So the bed is just kind of really, really just uneven. And um, underneath here, you know, uh, and I guess also another thing, with, the problem with these is I guess the bed actually uh, wobbles or something. I don't know. But um, I can look at it, and it doesn't even look level. You know, it's like, uh, anyway, the numbers ain't right. So um, it looks like this print might be screwing up and lifting up in this corner right here. It definitely is. So I wonder if maybe... Either the bed uh, temperature is too high, or the print temperature is too high. Yeah, it's lifting up. That's not good. So this is going to be another failed print. You know, this isn't supposed to be this hard for a printer that's like seven day under seven days old. You know, it's like five days old, I think. Six. So, yeah, I think this print's going to fail. Um, what we'll let us do is just, we'll wait a second, and then we'll see what happens, and then we'll, we'll go back and 
Um, it wants to print it at something like 215 degrees, and the, they don't recommend that on here. They uh, want uh, 230 to 250. So I'm within my temperature, but um, I don't think it's going to work. I hate this print head because you, you can't see a damn freaking thing. It's so huge. Yeah. Sticking out. God damn it. Um, and it's not going to stick back down, I don't think. What's very going to happen is it's going to catch on the deal and... Let me go ahead and pause this thing. Let's see what it does. Oh uh, man, this thing is so janky. It's slow as hell too. It's like, come on. Yeah, um Yeah. We can like force it down. And it it may let me uh, continue. We'll see. Jesus Christ, I don't really want to keep printing this damn thing. So, I think also my temperature is too high. Let's go down 235. This thing, because it leaves all this crap every time it parks somewhere. But I guess it's kind of normal. So, let's just see how it does. Um, it's just going to clip onto here, so it doesn't have to look pretty. Nice. I'm tired of wasting filament. I'm going through quite a bit. I've, like, I've got three rolls that they all have, like, that much on them. Um, the only roll that I have that's almost full is this roll of the blue. Um, I have uh, some PLA over somewhere, but, um, I don't know, maybe I see a switch to PLA, but what's the point of having a 3D printer if you can't print PETG? So, I'm going to try to not return this printer, if at all possible. It is a learning phase for me, so, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're going to have to abandon the print. It's just not happening. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe, um, maybe I need a filament dryer. Um, it just keeps coming up, so we're just going to have to quit. Oh well. What you gonna do, right?